Minnesota Governor Tim Walz is now back home in St. Paul. You're seeing his motorcade there. Walz will resume his duties as governor before making a decision on whether he will run for re-election in 2026. Now, President-elect Donald Trump has two and a half months before he's sworn in as the nation's 47th president. However, he is already making history with an announcement he made tonight. Our Washington News correspondent Josh Rothenberg has more. President-elect Donald Trump has named his former campaign manager Susie Wiles as his White House's chief of staff. Wiles will become the first woman in our country's history to serve in the role. In a statement, Trump says, quote, Susie Wiles just helped me achieve one of the greatest political victories in American history and was an integral part of both my 2016 and 2020 successful campaigns. He added, quote, Susie is tough, smart, innovative, and is universally admired and respected. Susie will continue to work tirelessly to make America great again. Wiles had been seen as the front runner for the position. Before running his 2024 nationwide campaign, she ran the Trump campaigns in her home state of Florida. On the personal front, she's the daughter of football legend Pat Summerall. Political observers note the chief of staff is an essential position, serving as gatekeeper to the president, but also telling him what he does not want to hear. During Trump's first term, he had four different men serve as his chief of staff. The president-elect has thousands of roles to fill in his next administration. In Washington, I'm Josh Rotenberg. One day after stocks surged following the election, pushing the Dow to a new record high today, the index was flat, technically falling about half of one point. President-elect Trump has made a lot of campaign promises about bringing down inflation, but local economists say there's only so much a president can do to affect the price of things. It is not the person or the persons who are in charge of the legislative or the executive branch that directly drives inflation, but it is consumer demand and sub supply of, of the goods and services that ultimately determines you know, the level of inflation. Economists say Trump's proposed tariffs could actually drive up prices, but they did say the economy responded well during the first Trump administration, at least up until the pandemic. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum said of Trump's victory in part, North Dakota's energy, agriculture and technology economy is poised to thrive in the coming era where private sector innovation, not overreaching government regulation, is seen as the key to solving our biggest challenges and realizing our fullest potential, end quote. No word yet on what Burgum's potential cabinet appointment may be.